Welcome back to Commentary Magic on round five of Friday Night Modern with Sparky. We got Victor. Victor, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Sparky. Ready to get some more magic in and watch uh, some more of the oppressive energy regime. Yeah, we got Tom on Domain Zoo against Jackson on Mardu Energy. Tom seems to be down negative eight games. I don't know how that happened. Whoever was on the camera take, making sure of that is uh, a moron. So you did a great job. Um, yeah, we can make fun of me. I've made a few mistakes this week. I was kind of yeah. trying to watch the games and, you know, be a good uh, table judge if I could. But we got a thought seize from Jackson on turn one. He sees Avu, Tribal Flames, Leyline Binding, Ragavan, and another Fetch Land. What are you taking if you're if you're taking if you're playing the thought seize here? On the play, turn one, I I like the Kavu. You do not give a shit about Ragavan. You have stuff that can either trade with it for little to no cost. You're running Bowmaster to just ping it off. I, I think you can let it go. Um, so is, is... No, I'm sorry, no. So I, I misunderstood because Tom's fetching, so he... Um, Tom fetched in the dark just to speed things up, but he, he found the triumph. Okay, so... Yep. I still like the play because, okay, so Tom's probably going to dash. Okay. But in the setup, setup of the following turns, that means that you still have to invest two mana, which can be pivotal uh, in in the deck to, to spend that mana. So a lot of times, like, Tom may, in a you know, following turn, do it again, and then just lose the... Um, Lose the Ragavan, though much less likely now if he Thoughtseize is here. Yeah, he hits a he hits in for two, drops Jackson to thirteen, and then hits a Thoughtseize, uses the treasure, casts the Thoughtseize. Let's see some lands here. Pride, Good. Flage, and Bowman. If it was my choice, I'd take the Pride. I'd take the pride because I'd force him to, like, you know, basically just pass the turn here. But I think he's just trying to protect the Ragavan. Which, I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. Yeah, I, I like, I agree just because I, you have to, now what, what, you have to go have land plus dash plus so, binding. So I don't, I don't, I don't like the raw dog of the Ragavan here because you the Flage is rolled up, right? You're losing one of these creatures. Yeah, which And your opponent's gaining three life, so they're gonna get a trigger. Like all 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 Jackson has to do is kill the Nakadal, swing with the Ocelot, and then he's got two cats and a Flage in his yard that he can buy back when he gets to four mana. And actually in reality what Jackson could just do is kill the Nakadal to get the three three out of the way. Swing. Yeah, that's that's the, what is that not what I yeah. just said? I'm so sorry. I thought you, the... you might have. I you know what to be honest. Sometimes <laughs> when you talk, I just I intentionally just deafen you uh, in my mind. So oh, that's um, cool. Cool. No, no, absolutely. No, I appreciate it for the people at home that they hear you to do that. Uh, I know that doesn't help when I regurgitate what you say. Uh, I was also just trying to you know, look at the board and solve it in my own head. But I, I agree. Yeah, you're just going to pop that, have a bad blocker, then because have a bad backswing. Because what are you going to do? Use the Leyline Binding on a token? Because that feels great. Or even the Tribal Flames. Okay, so Jackson... Or he just, just doesn't attack. Yeah. yeah, he just says, okay, now you have the double removal, which... Handmade cat tokens. Yeah, and Jackson five. has the... Uh, he's got the... Okay. I don't mind this here. The only issue is we'd have to use our energy to cast Flage if we're going to do that right now. I mean, Jackson. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Jackson's not really doing anything that stresses his need for the supply of energy. Mm -hmm. He does uh, so. have a Guide of Souls. He has Guide of Souls of Johnny, I believe. That's a pretty good... Which, I mean, does put him in a position where he can just grow this uh, Ocelot Pride and then just, like, have his board go out of, out of control wide. 
but he's got four lands. A Johnny makes two things. This is another thing. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're gonna get to we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get there. Turn four, bless up. Put some counters. Jackson's back to nineteen. Oof. Or what uphill. Not that it's impossible for No, but like he's but... also he's also gonna gain what? One Yeah. Okay, yeah, because he had one cat originally, so now he's got three cats. He should be a twenty two life, I believe. Yeah. I like this because you get the flage out of the way. I just don't know in what world we're going to be alive. I hate this. I don't like this block at all. I get that you're trying to trade, but like I think you, I think you lose so much. I would have just blocked with one of the regular one-one cats because I think you crack back you for the for lethal. Like yeah. like for all day every day and I also I also think from from Tom's point I think he just travel flames as the Ajani and doesn't use the leyline binding there, but he does have a bolt in his hand so he could have bolted the Ajani once it flipped. So I'm not sure about the equity here. I mean I guess he can bolt the Ocelot Pride, but Jackson's marker is moved. I think he currently has three energy again. Yeah. I don't think this is that bad. Yeah. Um, and then you have Jackson here, like, has the Galvanic Discharge rolled up. So, what did he draw? He drew Discharge. No, no, no. I was trying to see what uh, Tom drew, but it looks like Brawler. Um, Tom, Tom drew another Lightning Bolt and has Brawler. I think I, yeah, I think I just kill the Guide of Souls. Take Jackson off of having a board. Ugh. I was just to say, a Flage would be a pretty nice one to help in this game, but uh, he spoke too soon. Or thought yeah. too soon, I guess. And, like, you play the Brawler, it just dies to the Flage getting bought, brought back, right? Yeah, you can't even play it. Oh, okay. I think I you just use your mana, play. because you're yeah. you're not doing anything, right? It's It was either pass turn, don't use your mana, or use your mana. I think we're just actively looking to try and, like, surveil a Leyline Binder to the top of our deck. Yeah, and then there's also this. Like, if our opponent just makes the decision to put us to two, and we this, this fetch is the last fetch you can use. Yes, but if if in in a in an equal world where Zoo dominates energy, we just like surveil the ley line to the top, exile the flage, and then just get in and like go all the way with this Noshiba, which is what I hope happens. It's definitely a possibility. I mean, you could think about just killing it because remember, your binding. Ben's a ragavan. Your binding gets okay. Ben's that. It's another. It's a. It was a nacodal. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I don't know if binding actually saves him there just because well I mean it does in the sense of like not dying that turn but I don't know if I 100% like the idea of being like fine binding 
I actually yeah. think you maybe want to try to. Oh no, there's really nothing else that gets rid of it. Nah, never mind. That yeah. is what it is. You just have to hope that they won't have the static prison. Um, and then we have sideboards up here. Um, looking at what's going on, I think I like from Tom's side. I like bringing in the purge and the pyroclasms. Um, I think that's all I want though. I think it's just four cards, and then I would poss I would possibly take out the stubs. Because I don't want to be that reactive. I'd rather be proactive of like mowing their board down. Um, I don't mind the wear tears from Tom though, just because energy does rely on a decent amount of. Um, so looking at looking at Jackson's list, he has two nightmare, one bombardment, three static prison. I don't like. I think wear tears fine, but like he only has six things that I could hit. I'm not sure if that's like those are the things I want. I highlighted the Leyline of Punishment because while sitting at the table, I actively thought that like making it so Jackson doesn't gain life shuts off Ocelot Pride. But oh, that would be that would be cool. But then at, I the, don't know. at the same time, he can't gain life off of like his like if he wombo combos with Cyan Draco, he can't gain life with his Cyan. So that might not be where he wants to be. It looks like he took out Stubs, Ragavans, and a couple other cards. I think they talk about it at the end. But like he, I think he also brings in. I think he brings in the purge, the pyroclasms, and the wear tears. Yeah, the more I like think about Leyline, though, I I wouldn't bring it in because energy is probably going to be a. Because remember, sure, you don't gain life, so the prides don't make tokens, but the guide of soul still triggers and still gets the energy. And there's a possibility that you can still just kind of get underneath that. Because remember, yeah. it's one less car that you're going to have to play, right? Which means potentially sure. one less threat, and yeah. then you're already losing the race. And then I think your true. own card says, hey, you can't get back up, you know, out of the life total. So, no. you know, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't mind wear tear. I do feel like even though there's only six targets, right? I think the problem is, yeah. is that the, the those six cards are pretty impactful. Yeah, 100%. And then from Jackson's standpoint, um, I'm not really sure what I would bring in. Like, I think wear tear is fine. Because you can hit uh, both the ley lines of uh, the ley line binding and the ley line of the guild pact, and you can also get rid of um, the cyan of Dracos. There's not really much else I would want against Tom. Maybe surgical extraction, so maybe like those four cards. But yeah, um, if you like, I mean, if Jackson didn't like the Obnixilis, I don't know how it is in this matchup, but like you could take out like the Obnixilis and something else, or cut on some numbers of stuff because i don't i don't mind the wear tears and i don't mind the surgicals either i mean you're yeah. playing against domain zoo they only have so many threats and you yeah. know surgicaling like kavu not a bad deal Draco, yeah. no i think know. that's fine man whoever's okay so tom's on the play again looking at a okay seven I'd be able to see better if the guy manning the camera would take that. Yeah, like the side yeah. what yeah. an idiot. That guy needs to get fired. Wear, wear tear pyroclasm. I think he did bring, yeah, he brought in his wear tear pyroclasm. Yeah. Oh. I just don't think he has a threat. He might have a brawler. Oh, it took you long enough. Um... Yeah, thanks, Sparky, from the past. Jackson. Definitely has at least one static prison. Mm -hmm. I agree with what Tom said there. Like, I think there's a possibility where you can like do some surveil stuff, but I think keeping a two lander that has some stuff looks like two amped raptors, a couple extra cards. I think there was a guide of souls there and some lands. Or no, it wasn't a guy in souls. Uh, Cthonia Nightmare was in his hand, along with Static Prison. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like, if he... Cthonia, if he... such a good card. I, I can't... I, I cannot say how much I looked at that card and didn't feel like it was going to be that impactful, but I've, I watched Jackson multiple times over the last couple of tournaments, like, get the loop going, and I'm like, how do you... Even in the mirror, I'm like, how do you, how do you beat that? The good part is it's a sorcery, so like, 
with you, you if you're if you're playing good cards, you can destroy the nightmare with the trigger on the stack. Of note, this is the first time in a while that I haven't seen Tom have a Leyland of the Guild Pack in the first two games. So yeah, I mean, doesn't help. I, know, I know it's still in his deck. I could think I see it when he shuffles here. I would hope it's still in his deck. He kind of needs it, and there's no reason to take it out. You're playing against Mardu. They don't run um, yeah. Blood Moon. However, they still run Static Prison, um, you know, in yeah. some numbers. I know Jackson in particular is playing three. I, I think the average is about one and a half. Overall. I think most of us play two, but yeah. So um, it, it, it does certainly suck when when they have it, because it's just one man one mana, like, Probably never going to not have the energy. Yeah. Tom falls to 16, cast a sign of Draco here. Regular zoo stuff. Jackson's going to get a raucous theater. I'm curious. I mean, I guess he may have had a planes. I think he had some white sources in his hand. I mean, if he didn't, that'd be a very interesting, considering he could have got elegant parlor. Yeah. And believe it looks. It looks like he's got an Aaron Mace in his hand, so he can just go oh, find a planes if he wants. I think he's waiting on the trigger. Sparky, you can get rid of that. Uh, pass Sparky. Get rid of the sign of the Draco, please. Did he? Did yeah. hold on? Did he just not surveil, or did he look at it and I missed it? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and find out. Uh, somebody down in the in the comment section, let me know if uh, Jackson missed his uh, surveil trigger. Yeah, like this, and this is this is a situation where I I do you know, I do like that Tom brought in these wear tears because while the static prison is, you know, yeah, it's a one drop, and he's got to pay the energy. Jackson's probably going to find ways to get that energy, and it, it look what it's keeping back. Yep, it's pre-combat. It's a saga, pretty much. It should have just been named a saga. I don't know, you know. Not really, though. He's deciding which of the two amp raptors to cast to go with the first one. <laughs> Yeah, can I choose app? Uh, baby, baby, a? blood braid flips into a wear tear. Oof. Yeah. Tom is chomping at the bit with this pyroclasm just sitting in his hand. Let's go. Yeah, it's just crazy knowing that it's like it's gonna be a good two for one, but it's like yeah, watching the energy decks, it's you know, losing two creatures, sometimes I feel like they're not even phased by it. I'm like, how you know, how is that possible? Especially if playing against the Boros version where they're like, Oh, okay, that kind of stinks. Uh the one ring, uh tap it, I'm gonna refill my hand eventually. And then you're like, Yep, okay, never mind. Yeah, I fully agree with that. Also, Pass Sparky, can you get Simon Drake off the screen, please? Any day now? Past uh, Sparky was really struggling. I I think I was just too busy watching the match and not watching the screen. Oh, because I was taking care of their life totals. So on the laptop, it was a little more of a pain in the butt. Ooh, Clasm Nicotel is not bad. Let's see if uh, Jackson follows it up with I just drew Flage. Oh boy, another amp raptor. Can't wait for this to hit something extremely impactful. Hey, there you go. It's almost like, a, <laughs> like it's yeah. a like it's a bloodbright elf type card. This is awesome. A galvanic discharge just gets to eat the Nakata for free, and then we have a nightmare. Would you be happier or mad if that amp raptor had cascade instead of what its current text was? Um I, dude, Amp Raptor with Cascade, I think, is too busted. 
Because you just like play like blue red decks with like ancestral visions and stuff like that, right? Because oh, then you okay. get to play like Snapcasters. Yeah. Oh, hey, pass Sparky, thumbs up. Thanks for getting the card off the screen. Um, but back to what you were, what you were saying. I definitely feel like um, the Cascade on Amtrap would be too strong. I think what they did is fine. It actually gives you a way to use your energy, which is nice. And I mean, like, you could, like, I see these decks flip rings all the time and have to exile them. So there's times where you're you're kind of hitting some bad stuff and you're not always getting even trades, right? I think I saw a card in Jackson's hand. I think it was Ob Daddy. I mean, if he's got Ob Daddy in hand, I don't mind. Oh my goodness! Okay, that's four for anybody paying attention. I, I would, I would absolutely reach over the table at this point and threaten physical violence. The, I believe, the... I believe Jackson's at seven counters now. And that, that's a Cthonian, right? I haven't seen. Yeah, that, that's that so. Art, that's but... yeah, that's the full art, uh, full art Cthonian nightmare. Yeah, because why not at this point? I mean, remember when yeah. Tom got a two for one, and we thought that was going to be all right, and then this is the board again. Yeah, and then Jackson's just sitting there with his adversary in hand, and then we're gonna. I I'm not sure if he does anything with the energy yet. But... I am not. I'm not going to lie. I I think I would have now. I mean, listen, everyone plays it differently. Didn't swing for two, missed damage there. But um, I kind of like the idea of swinging for two, then sacrificing the Amp Raptor to the Omnixilis. Tom has nothing on board. He's, you know, he's you mean clearly... you mean you mean the nightmare currently because the Omnixilis is in his hand. Yeah, you have, yeah, swing, yeah, swing yeah. for sure, two. Sure. Yeah, and then don't, sack the one that's one. And then, yeah. Yeah. And then just have two Omnixilis because. Um, Tom's stuck with a bunch of cards in hand, or he's just gonna start losing for two life. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it didn't matter. Tom wasn't really able to follow up with a you know an impactful sweeper. Oh, this is this is such a this is such a heartbreaking draw because he draws Galvanic with all these first strike creatures. I would have attacked. But yeah, fine. I think I think sometimes I feel like you a lot save, of people forget that Amp Raptor also has you, first. You right? save you save some energy here, right? Adversary. Is it causality or is it casualty? I thought it was casualty. It's casualty. So I believe the copy has two counters. Yeah, Jackson, there's no I in the, in that card uh, for Jackson in the future when you see this. So we got a devil, and then we have Tom has to discard or lose two life. Yeah, each opponent loses two life unless they discard a card, and if you control a demon, you gain life. Yeah, I think I would have just plus both and not cared about the devil. Well, so count how many permits he has. Three, then, four, five, uh, that's nine, ten, eleven. Yes, and then understand that he can Cthonian Nightmare one of these prides back. Um, and then he makes a copy of the Obnixilus and the Devil and the Cat. Yeah, uh, yeah, all right. That's not too bad. Yeah, I love it when a plan comes together. A nightmare, how it works, is you just pay the cost of energy equal to the CMC of the creature. Yeah, so he would lose one energy for that. Yep. And he's going to make another cat and another devil. I believe we missed a copy of Obnixilis, but it doesn't yep. matter. So, well, so how does that, because that's a good question. Because so that copy had a causality of two. It. Well, uh, I believe all of them do not. So to make a copy, it's actually a good question. The copy says it's not legendary, but then okay, then yeah, yes. it's not legendary. And, and so I believe yeah. I believe the causality is tied into that specific copy, so it would have come in with two counters. Guys, I finally missed something while watching a game. You can lambast me in the comments below. 
Um, also, I don't think Tom can win this at all. No, at unless they point. did a domain. Um, I win the game cards. Yeah. Oh, they did print that. It's called Conflux, but um, yeah. not gonna be not gonna be. The only thing that, that would be more nuts is if the I, I I forget what card Jackson drew here, but if this is a Goblin Bombardment, the game just ends on the spot, and he doesn't even have to go to attacks. Because he can play the Nightmare, sacrifice one of the cats, get the other, um, cat. Get the other Osla Pride back. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Block Pride? I think we block uh, Raptor. Because then you're taking one, two, three, four, five. You go to five, as opposed to going to four. The problem is you already know about the Nightmare, and you're probably going to take one off the, the Devil. Once again, everyone, look at the power of MH3 block constructed. Behold your Boros overlords. Can't forgot that does that. Oh my goodness. I don't think you have to use it right now, do you? No. Oh, you gain two energy, one energy. Off of, what? Yeah, off of Raptor, you always gain the two energy. You only oh do the thing if you cast goodness. it. Goodness. Yeah. I guess so. He's gonna make one cat that makes two, then he's gonna make a third cat, and then he's gonna make three. So it is six. We need to have a like a fun little chart hanging on the wall there with uh, the additive math about how many tokens get created. Yeah. For one, for one pride, you get two if you have the blessing. For two prides, you get six. For three prides, you get fourteen. But who said grief needed to be banned? Yeah, you know. And, oh boy, the uh, you know what? I this is now a uh, banned energy channel. So for anyone doing this, <laughs> we, we are now uh, dumping loads of lobbyist money into banning energy. Yeah, but once again, we enjoy you uh, for liking it and subscribing, and following, and commenting. Please have yourself a blessed day. Sparky is out. Say goodbye, Victor. Goodbye, Victor.